And welcome back. This is your NSU Weather Report, and I'm Kelly Otto. So we have a little cloud coverage in the area. Nothing big, but it is keeping that warm temperatures, those cool temperatures we have in a couple of days, hanging over. So, but current temperatures right now, 67, which is a couple degrees lower than what we've been seeing earlier this week. There is a humidity outside of 37%, so it feels a little bit warmer than it is, but it's a little bit of a breeze, so it's even in even and out. Um, we're looking at temperatures all throughout the state, you know, in the 60s. So it is cooler, but spring is here, so we're out of those 50s. All that's gone, which is a good thing. Even throughout the south, Dallas right now, 61, Houston, 68, which is still warmer than what they have been seeing. But even throughout the U.S., all along the east coast, New York right now, 68, which is 20 degrees warmer than what they have been seeing. So it's spring is finally here which is a good thing. Look at our national radar. There's some stuff going on to the north and some stuff going on over on the east coast, but nothing happening really in the south, just a little cloud coverage from this storm that's pushing off. So that's about all we're going to be seeing. And all that little cloud coverage right there, there's some showers going on, but nothing big really happening, which is a good thing compared to what we have been seeing. So our low tonight, 43 degrees. It's going to be nice and cool tonight. And our high tomorrow back into the 70s, a high of 71, which is always good. So here's a look at our five-day forecast. There is going to be some rain on Saturday, not a lot, but it will be dropping in to the high 50s on Sunday, but back up on Monday into the mid-60s. So it's just going to drop down for a day, but we're looking at our lows in the mid to high 30s. So Nothing really much of a difference on the lows, but our highs, there's going to be that big drop on Sunday, but we're not really going to feel it that much. So and that's going to be a look at your weather. We'll be right back after the break. Out with the old and in with the new. Equipment, that is. NSU News reporter Sarah Kramer gives us the story. The NSU TV studio is getting rid of some of their old equipment and bringing in newer and more efficient equipment. Director, executive producer David Antilli and production assistant Mikey Lofton are unpacking the new road system that will make it easier to film on location. Basically what the road system is, is a complete studio setup uh, on wheels. The original equipment was purchased in 1988. It allowed NSU News to travel away from the studio to film things like sporting events and Lady of the Bracelet. With the new equipment, Antilly and Lofton can still go out on location, but filming and transportation will be a lot easier. Before we had to go through lots of paperwork and call movers and have the movers come over and pick it up and I had to ride in the back of the truck with the movers to make sure our equipment didn't fall over because it's the only equipment that we had. The new equipment includes the TriCaster, which will be used to produce and edit the footage taken on location. It's where we'll be able to do all the fun stuff. It's where we can put stuff on a chroma wall and we can put Paris in the background, we can put New York City in the background and it looks like you're there. And uh, with that same piece of, piece of equipment, we can run through a network and we can stream video live. There are also new cameras, new sound equipment, and everything needed to put on a full news show. Until he said that he still has to test the new equipment, but the system will be up and running by the spring 2010 graduation. Reporting for NSU News, <coughs> I'm Sarah Kramer. The ladies of Sigma Alpha Iota presents the Lady of the Night. The search for the gentleman who is man enough to be the next lady of the night. The pageant will be on Thursday, March 25th at 9 p.m. in the band hall in Kappa. The admission fee is $3 and tickets are at the door. There will be a raffle for the guest judge seat. If you're interested in competing, contact Linda Aguilar on Facebook or check the SAI board in the Kappa building. As the government, government inspector closes this weekend, Kappa continues to stay busy by producing five student recitals. Juniors and seniors of the music department get the chance to showcase their talent. Pianist Janka Karjakova will perform on March 19th at 4 p.m. and saxophone player Mark McJimsey will at 6. Viola player Paul Randall Adam will be 
on March 20th at 3 p.m. Tuba player Matthew Foster will perform March 21st at 5 p.m. And violinist player Marquise Montgomery, March 22nd at 6 p.m. All recitals are open to the public and in Miguel Recital Hall. Capit continues its performance by holding a dance concert on March 25th through March 27th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 and $8 for senior citizens. Students get in free with their student ID, and the concert will include many different dance pieces from NSU dance professors and will be held in A.F. Frechter's Auditorium. The Northwestern State Wind Ensemble, Symphonic Band, and Concert Band will perform tonight in Miguel Recital Hall at 7.30. The Wind Ensemble will be conducted by Kevin Richardson. The Symphonic Band will be conducted by Dr. Jeffrey Matthews. And the Concert Band will be conducted by Graduate Assistant Ramon Parker. A guest performer will be Assistant Professor of Saxophone, Dr. Paul Forsyth, who will be performing with the Wind Ensemble. Admission is free and open to the public. NSU Demon Dodgeball Club is hosting their first annual Spring Dodgeball Tournament on March 28th. They are encouraging all sororities, fraternities, RSOs, NSU students, and faculty to participate. There is a $3 registration fee for each player, and there must be at least 10 players on each team. The tournament will be in, played in playoff bracket style, and each team must select a team captain for their squad. Information on how you can get involved is on the screen now. Now that basketball is over, what's next on the Demon Agenda? Well, we have tennis, baseball, softball, and even football is picking up again. And we'll hear more about that when we come back. <laughs> 